<clears throat> what's coming to my Aries in the next 48 hours? <laughs> Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Hi, Aries. What's going on with you? Welcome to your reading. I got messages for you. What's going on with you, Aries? Oh, hopefully nobody's getting locked up in the next 48 hours. Whoever this is, they could be moving silently. I don't know, Aries. Somebody's planning to seduce you in the next 48 hours. They could be going through your comments to see how they could come in with this offer of love, but they're haunted. <sighs> so scam likely, Aries. A lot of scam likely calls or somebody could have been trying to scam you. What's going on with you in the next 48 hours? Yeah, we have a painter. Some of y'all may need to paint. We have a father. What's what's coming to you in the next 48 hours? Somebody's running towards you fast. An athlete. Aries, your reading already is just like kind of like all over the place. It's like very distorted. As soon as I'm... There could be somebody waiting on standby. A lost soul that could be in like, this could be a leader. Or there could be a leader here that's navigating towards you. Because they feel like you are a genius or you're very intellectual or you have like a extraordinary gifts. Let me just shuffle these decks really quick. Aries. seems so serious already <clears throat> yeah somebody's getting caught up Aries okay what's coming to you in next 48 hours to Aries a magician this came out so Virgo or Gemini an illusion Somebody here that's doing magic or something that you've manifested is coming to you in the next 48 hours. Whatever this is, Aries, um, something that you've manifested, some type of magic that you did, or if you did any magic, if this was good magic that you did, okay, this could be coming to you in the next couple of days. Or this is someone here that's lying or they're coming to you trying to manipulate you or lie to you or whatever this is. They could be coming to you in the next 48 hours, Aries. <clears throat> yeah, because I feel like somebody can't paint paint some type of image or they can't form some type of image on you or they can't put something on you with form in reverse, depict, sub uh, sublimate, abstraction, sensation. Maybe somebody can't feel your energy. That's what I'm getting. Somebody possibly can't feel your energy anymore. So they could be trying to come towards you. Mm -mm, a stranger. Passes by, encounter by chance, mutual aid or a friend. Yeah, we have somebody here. This is somebody here that's mad, okay? There's a madman or somebody could be mad because either they're on their way to jail. That's so crazy because what called me was Indian Springs. It was from Indian Springs, Nevada. And that was a scam likely. But anyway, Aries. So something here is something. I don't know, Aries. We have a detective. So a stranger. This could be the detective that may be passing by you. Or you could be meeting this detective. This detective could be coming towards you. This could be like a friend of yours. They could be wanting to educate you or guide you. Why is this detective coming to you, Aries? Somebody's trying to get the truth. 
from a stranger or somebody's getting the truth from a stranger. I don't know. I don't know, Aries, because I feel like somebody did not reach their goal. Seeker of adventures, courage in reverse, challenge and goal. Somebody's not courageous or they don't want to challenge you anymore. They see the truth. <clears throat> so somebody see the truth, Aries, regarding the situation and they don't want to challenge you anymore. I feel like somebody has not reached their goals when it has to do with trying to challenge you. So it's like, I don't know. Maybe somebody could be coming in peace. I don't know. Aries, your reading is a little off. Aries. Coming to Aries in the next 48 hours. An illusion. Something that's not real is coming to you in the next 48 hours. A spiritual hater, a Virgo, a Gemini. Somebody's gonna be somebody's gonna be hating on you in the next 48 hours. It's a spiritual hater. Yeah. Just someone that's gonna intentionally like hate on you. We have too busy winning. Somebody's been trying to paint some type of image on you, Aries, or they've been trying to put something on you. Yeah, say, saying that you had an STD or they're trying to like paint some type of image that you have STDs or you're nasty, you sleep around, but you're too busy winning. But the only proof that they gotten is that your light irritates their demons. That's it. Or maybe somebody seen a demon on camera or somebody took a picture or something and then they seen like this it was like an actual demon that got busted somebody got busted a Karen that was supposed to have been played out this person was like fucking with you online now they got legal issues about this love triangle that they're in mm. I don't know why okay Aries. So when I'm picking up, there's energies that's trying to come towards you, sleep with you, so that way they can blame an STD on you. Just period. Okay. So let me just bring that down. There's an investigator going around. They're investigating somebody about a certain said STD that somebody has been passing around, Aries. And I'm getting somebody is blaming you, saying that you're the one that's passing this STD around. This has been coming out in every freaking reading um, that I've been doing um today and this is what we're going to be talking about okay so we have talking shit so there's a stranger or somebody that you don't even know aries that's talking shit all right this could be someone that literally wants to be like you look like you or dress like you this person gets up every day watch you okay or this person gets up every day to like try to reject you or make you feel some type of way but they could be looking you up to see how they can reject you or make you feel. I don't know. This could be someone that wants to, like, they could be copying you. They could be looking you up to see how they could copy you or something like that. This is a stranger. You don't even know this person. Yeah, there's a detective looking at this damn cyberbullying here that has been going on. They have gotten the truth about who's been cyberbullying you, Aries. Or if you have experienced that. Yeah, we have an impersonator. Now it's coming out in reverse. Somebody knows that you're not an impersonator. You're not trying to look like nobody else. You, you're you're yourself, <clears throat> Aries. Somebody knows who the impersonator is, wants to be you. I feel like, Aries, you don't want to be like nobody. You don't want to dress like nobody. You don't want to act like nobody. You are you. You're first. You're an Aries. Like, come on now. Why would you, Aries, want to look like and be like somebody else? Somebody knows that you're not an impersonator. And I feel like there's people that could have been trying to like bully you or somebody could have said that you were or you're trying to be like so-and-so and you're like, what? Come again? Okay. I just feel like these energies are mad because either their spell work could be returning on them or could be blowing up in their face. Why is this magician a spiritual hater? Because they got broke up with or somebody broke up with a Virgo or a Gemini because they were bored or they didn't want that person or they broke up with somebody for a third party. Mm. 
Yeah, they told them to kiss their ass. They're like, man, you could kiss my ass. A boss daddy? Maybe having some um, CPS services here with an impersonator or with your impersonator. So they could have been trying to look you up because they were rejected. They always partying. I don't know. Somebody possibly also um, getting, um, somebody wants you to take their kids in, Aries. Yeah, somebody wants you to take their kids in. Yeah. We have undying love, my pain, my love, my sorrow. Somebody's hurting over you. They're hurting over the love that they have about you. They keep venting about you, but they feel like you don't care or you're unbothered. unbothered. You're so busy on hustling, trying to make it rain, or you focused on getting the money. What is this talking? Talking shit. Whoever this is, they did not move on from you. Or they're not, they don't want to. Give me talking shit. Yeah, happiness haters talking shit about you. <sighs> what does happiness hater say? They're mad because somebody wants you. They could be getting proof or they got proof that somebody wants you. Aries, you don't even know who this is. This is someone here that could be taking pictures of you, snapping pictures of you, getting some type of photo proof or evidence here for some reason. Because like what this like, this is someone here that's sneaking out with their camera, like snapping a picture and they're putting it away. You may not even notice. Somebody's like take, snapping pictures and you don't even know like this person's like doing some slick shit. Like, they taking out their camera, like, like, that's weird. This could be a stranger. You don't even know. They possibly want to be your friend. Who is this person? Aries, what is this? Yeah, because whoever is married for money, they going through karma. Trying to cock block you and bring drama your way. Because either you moved, okay, and somebody here lost their reputation. Or they have a bad reputation. Now they can't find love again because of an STD that they got, Aries. Like I said, this STD keep coming up in these reads, man. Yeah, they can't find love again. Whoever this is, I feel like they don't, they're not, they, maybe they're mad because they can't find love again. Because of some what they was doing out here, what they done caught. I don't know, Aries. I'm just here to read the energy. And I'm not in no way, shape, or form talking about no damn body. If it come up and, and, and that's the sad sign, I don't know. I'm just here reading these cards, doing what I'm supposed to do. Should nobody feel attacked over no damn cell Okay. What is the message is Aries? I don't understand. I don't understand your reading. I really don't. I got Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius already uploaded. I'm going to try to do as many as I can today. We have the three of wands, the star. It's like somebody's watching you heal behind the scenes or somebody's like literally like watching you as a healer. Or the star card, Aries, this could be you coming out as a healer or you're very spiritual. Yeah, but the high priestess, yeah, somebody's watching you. Some of y'all could be tarot readers, or you could be psychic, or you could be intuitive. There could be a queen of wands in reverse watching you, or the queen of wands. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The fuck up, Ari. Hold on. <laughs> Somebody, it's a feminine energy that pleasures themselves watching you, dog. but they hate on they hate on your spirit. What is this, Aries? I know it was some weird shit. <laughs> Hey, look, I know it's some weird shit in your reading, but I didn't think it was going to be this weird. A queen of wands pleasures herself. Watch, this person literally lays on their back, Aries, when you upload, okay? This is kind of creepy because I'm a reader. I'm a high priestess, star energy. And to all of my fellow Aries that's out there, you look good as hell and you're a reader. There's somebody here. This could be a fellow fire sign that gets online and they be like they be pleasuring themselves watching you read <sighs> so
somebody watches you all day here, but then they hate on your spirituality, they hate on your, your light, they hate on your magic because you're a star, you're very inspirational, you're you're intuitive, you're a healer. Um, I'm getting like you're very attractive or Aries, like somebody just watches you at a distance too here as well with the three of wands. So somebody could be like far away from you. Maybe you don't know who this person is. This could be the stranger that watch you and they possibly like, oh my God, Aries. You sexy motherfucker. That's what they be saying. Mm. Yeah, because I feel like somebody here is like watching you. They like, damn, what all else do you know? Well, damn, what else do you know? You know that? Yeah, the hyper. I feel like you don't speak about everything that you know. Because I'm getting, you know, that it can lead you into some, like, into some trouble. You know what I mean? Like, you don't speak about everything you know. You know, speaking about everything you know, that can get you, like, hurt out here but i feel like you could be expanding or growing in your business say if this high priestess energy this is what you do for a living somebody is curious about why you're so quiet or why you're the high priest they're curious i feel like somebody watches your readings back to back back to back back to back or they watch all your readings here it could be an ex-lover it could be somebody here that's hurt or somebody that just went through a divorce or they're going through a breakup right now they're watching your readings for clarity yeah, it could be a Virgo or a Gemini. King of Pentacles or a Taurus. A masculine. Somebody could be watching. Yeah, they watching you at a distance, Aries. I mean, I don't know what else to say about that. But is they watching a lot of readings? Why are they watching a lot of readings on, on Aries? The Nine of Wands to see when they, they could come in and chase you or be in and out or when they could come towards you. What's this, Aries? Could be a Sagittarius. What's the Nine of Wands? Why do they want to come in or see when they could come and sleep with you? Somebody thinks that you're waiting on them? Aries, what's the Nine of Wands? <laughs> I know you fucking. Seven of Swords. Okay, so somebody's planning to come in, like, sneak you, snake you. It's like with the Seven of Swords, it's like they're trying to leave two swords behind. And they're trying to run off with five swords. So somebody's trying to like come in and do some sneaky shit. Like either they could be trying to steal something from you or play mind games and then ignore you. Oh, Aries. Somebody's trying to do something. Yeah, real slick. They trying to like sleep with you, then ignore you here. Yeah. Yeah. So with the seven of swords, the knight of wands, somebody's trying to leave two swords on you, leave something here stuck with you and then sneak off. Who's trying to do this? It could be this king of pentacles, your ex. Ex-lover or whatever this is. It's like they're trying to pay you. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. They're like, well, I want my family back. The Ten of Cups. What is this? The devil. Somebody's obsessed with having some type of family dynamic with you. The King of Cups could be going through a turning point in their life. So they could be holding back or something. Somebody's holding on to some fortune of yours. It's the King of Cups. It's a water sign that's holding on to some type of fortune of yours, Aries. The King of Cups, the Will of Fortune, and the Four of Pentacles. They don't want to give this to you, but they're being investigated. <sighs> so it's like either they're like mad because something here is ending abruptly in their life with the Ten of Swords, the Chariot. Somebody got to be careful not to get into any accidents. I don't know what's too busy winning in this in this painter in reverse it's like somebody's trying to paint the image like they're too busy winning and they're not it's the queen of cups in reverse a karmic water sign they cannot paint the image that they're too busy winning this person has to move or they have to move on to karma waters somebody's lying they're like oh this could be somebody here that's like what's the queen of cups in reverse what are they doing? This person be coming out in every damn reading that I did. They could be waiting, planning, investing in this King of Swords. But the King of Swords, they could be thinking about this King of Swords who cut them off. King of Swords don't want to deal with them. So a queen of cups could be overly emotional or all in their emotions. They could be crying because they can't form something.
this person could be lying and trying to emotionally manipulate this king of swords but they're standing firm on their beliefs they're using their they're thinking with logic and this queen of cups in reverse is thinking with emotion so this person could be crying to this king of swords and they just don't give a fuck they're like man i right, think about it but mm, i don't care somebody is like literally too quiet or they're not really saying anything about this this queen of cups What's the Queen of Cups in reverse? Yeah, because I feel like they got legal issues. Somebody's like, I'm not really fucking with you like that. King of Swords could have cut this Queen of Cups off once they had some type of legal issues, Aries. Or this could be happening in the next 48 hours. This King of Swords is not finna play no games. They're like, man, I can't be around you like that. You you got you got legal issues. Like, I'm not, you know, mm -mm, no, nah, you trying to bring me in the middle of this? Tie me up into these legal issues right along with your ass. Yeah, we got the Hierophant. Uh-uh. Yeah, heavy on the legal issues. The Hierophant, the Two of Swords. And now this Hierophant energy is um oblivious or they're like ignoring the situation. They may be coming to you with an offer, Aries, to partner up with the Two of Cups, a Sagittarius, the Temperance energy, or to make peace here. Because I'm getting this Queen of Cups, child. They got some legalities going on, baby. And I feel like everybody is uh, getting away from this energy because they're going to pull everybody into whatever they got going on because of what they did. Could be about money. Also, what is what is this legal issues about? Or somebody wants to make peace, the five of pentacles, the judgment. Damn. Somebody's bankrupt or they're going bankrupt here. Or this could be about some type of lack. I'm picking up somebody here is praying for mercy from the universe. They're like, please, God, I'm just praying for mercy. Or somebody here is like, like I said, this could be a health issue that somebody is going to court for. It got exposed in court or about somebody's health got exposed in court, man. It got exposed because somebody passing this shit around, man. Damn, we got a death card. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. For you, baby. It's so rare for you, boy. Literally. Somebody, look what they did. The fool in reverse with the death guard. There's a, something here is literally like going to change somebody's life forever. I'm talking about forever. But it's like Aries. They were trying to like pin something on you. Like you are a nine of wands. And I feel like you could be quiet about something. You're the high priestess, the star. You're healing or you have healed and you're quiet. You're like, nah. You the star in the upright. You know, the star in reverse is somebody that ain't healed from and they could be like dirty. Mm -mm. You have healed already, Aries. Mm-mm. Your intuition is yeah, no, something could be significant about the color gold as well. Maybe you could be golden or you could be glowing as well. What's the talking shit? Five of Cups. Somebody regrets speaking on you, Aries. Speaking on your name. Now they're the Five of Cups. They regret talking shit about you to these strangers as well. Yeah, because I feel like the truth is coming out. Like I said, like you were receiving them downloads. The truth is coming out that somebody's the Five of Cups. Or they feeling unloved or... They feeling like a lame from doing this or for saying all this. Now they want to come in and follow their heart with the Knight of Cups. It's like they want to come in like, yeah, the Emperor. Six of Wands wants victory with you or whatever. What's the Ace of Swords? What's the Ace of Swords? The Lovers in Reverse. The Moon card. Cancer Pisces. Gemini Energy. This could have been somebody talking smack about you, Aries, to people that you don't even know. Or, like, you don't even know these energies. And they was talking so much crap about you because clearly this person wanted you or wanted to be with you. This could be other fem feminine energies because the happiness hater. This could be someone here that has a wedding dress on. And then, like, somebody is over here with the actual wedding dress. And, it, and this person's, like, looking at them like somebody's mad because this energy actually wants to be with you or love on you or whatever. And they feel bad, like they should have just did this or they should have just came to you correct. But they could have been talking shit to like strangers. Or this could have been somebody here that was supposed to be a new friend or something. This could have been like somebody here that was a new friend to you. 
and they get with this person, they pass this person by chance and they start talking, they start dragging your name through the mud or running a smear campaign about you with, to this stranger, to people that you don't even know. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles could have been a Virgo. You don't even know this person. A King of Wands, too, as well, and a King of Pentacles. Three people. We got Taurus, Leo, and Virgo. Somebody could have been, like, running, like, your name through the mud. Not at regret doing this, and they want to apologize, but I feel like you could be ignoring the apology. The Two of Swords, you don't see it. You're like, yeah, I understand you like me and everything, but, like, somebody needs to come better than a page energy. Like, yeah, we don't care about those little bitty emotions. Boss it up or no. Like, hell, like... Aries, I just feel like you're just going to remain single in the Nine of Pentacles. You're going to remain by yourself and someone's going to always like want you or want to take action towards you. You got two energies, a fire sign and an earth sign. But I feel like with this lovers in reverse, I feel like behind the scenes, somebody made a bad choice in love or they're just not really, they don't have deep love for somebody like that. And that's the secret. They don't love somebody like that. So this is why they want to come towards you. Because the love could have been manipulated or somebody could have been doing love spells. This is not working. The magician and the uh, devil. Somebody's obsessed with doing magic, Aries, or obsessed with doing love magic on you. They're just like, man, I hope, I hope you pass me by chance. Like, I hope we could bump into each other. Who is this stranger? I'm hearing stranger danger, king of cups. Who the King of Cups, Aries? This ain't no stranger, Aries. Somebody's feeling like, damn, Aries, you a stranger now. You don't talk to me. Passes by encounter by chance. Mutual aid, new friends. Somebody's trying to get somebody to, like, get you, like, to go out so that way they could basically, like, come up there and be like, make it seem like, oh, Aries, what's up? What you doing? I didn't know you was going to be up here, Aries. How you doing, Aries? And I feel like this is going to be you looking like. So somebody's trying to get you out the house. That's what I'm getting. Somebody's trying to get you out the house, Aries. Yeah, because somebody knows you're a healer or you're a star. Or they know that you're healing or you have healed. Yeah. So what is this King of Cups intentions with you, Aries? What do they want besides being a stalker? They want a fudge cake. <laughs> they want some of that um sweet love. Sweet love. Yeah, the, the world. The cycle is not over between y'all. Mm-mm. It's not. Some of y'all, the sex is healing. The, the the yoni is healing. Yeah, the high priestess, you know what's up. You know what somebody want. And that's why you're not giving them their wish, your, their, that wish. Somebody knows you have sweet healing yoni. Or to my man, you got that sweet healing phallic. Like when it just go inside, they be like, <gasps> <sighs> like you already know what it is. That... You got that one woman peen. Some of y'all, y'all women, y'all have that one man JJ. Like you get take good care of that yoni. Like, you know, you have your, you know what you're doing. Okay. Some of y'all ain't even. Okay. Anyway, what's the messages here with the, what's the detective here with the cyber bullying though? What's going on? The eight of swords in reverse. So either somebody could have been trying to put you in your head, Aries, but you're free from that. You're free from the negative thoughts or being in a self-imposed prison due to somebody here like they got the truth now. So I feel like you have freed yourself or you strategically moved away from a situation. I feel like can't nobody, somebody here, what's the eight of swords in reverse? Yeah, the justice in reverse. Dang. The devil is going through a tower. Capricorn energy, Scorpio energy, Aries energy. I feel like these energies could have um, 
tried to verbally abuse you online. They could have been trying to say mean things to you online, Aries. Yeah, somebody was like doing this. They were managing this. And I feel like you know who it is. You possibly like called it out with the sun card, the nine of swords. Like, like I said, some of you guys are intuitive as hell. Like you get downloads, the most high reviews, everything to you. Everything that has been hidden, I'm talking about shit from years ago that has been hidden from you. The most high just reveals it to you like here. Whenever the most high feels like you are ready to get that information without getting emotional about it. I mean, and I know it may hurt Aries, but I just feel like you get that. You get the downloads. You get it. And, you know, yeah, the truth can hurt when you find out who was the ones that was like being unjust to you or, or not taking accountability or not standing up for you. Like these energies was abusing you. Now they got a lot of karma to pay back. Capricorn, Libra, and Gemini. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Something about your looks, your beauty, your skin, your body as well. What's the Queen of Wands? The High Priestess. The Sun card. So yeah, exposure. So they're about to get exposed in divine timing. This is going to happen. Or if there's a temperance here that's about to be ghosted. There's a Sagittarius that's about to be left out in some type of poverty or lack. Due to them possibly evil lying you, Aries, or ignoring you. Yeah, Empress. They were ignoring you or trying to play mind games with you to have you stuck in the Ten of Swords. But everything is fine, Aries, because I feel like these energies are under judgment here. Yeah, there's a peace. Peace is being made within a situation. <sighs> or you're manifesting for peace to be made. Yeah, because whoever the Sagittarius is, they are being investigated. I don't know who the Sagittarius, who is the Sagittarius, spirit guys? Who is the Sagittarius? That's being, I mean, this person could be trying to move away from a situation. Who the Sagittarius that's being investigated? Who the Sagittarius that's being investigated? Look, the Six of Swords came right back out. Somebody that's, that, that moved away from you. This is someone here that moved away. They left, or this person's being watched too. What's the Temperance Hem Hermit Six of Swords? The Two of Swords, somebody that you're no longer talking to. That's so crazy. You could be ignoring this person or this person is acting oblivious. What's this Hermit said? Uh, yeah, the three. You work with this person, Aries. Y'all collab together. Oh, this person was like, is this who you want? For some of y'all, y'all could be a little voluptuous like myself. And there are somebody here that was like into you. Okay, and it was like, is that who you want? Some of y'all could be like on the plus side, you know what I mean, like myself. And somebody's like, that's, you want that over me? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, your ex. And they was heartbroken because somebody wanted you over them. Somebody's heartbroken because somebody wants you or they desire you over them. So they're mad. <laughs> a cancer or Pisces or they was talking to this cancer and Pisces in secret trying to get some money from them with the six of pentacles or get them to pay them. Or somebody could have been getting this cancer or Pisces to pay them like to keep something on a hush hush Aries. And I'm getting you already know what, what went on here. Child. Okay. What's the, what's. A new karmic child. Somebody, somebody could have got with a new karmic. <laughs> What's the message, is Aries? Listen, okay. Like I said, you're coming out as intuitive. All right. What's the messages here for Aries? We have a Taurus moon. Somebody with a Taurus moon here. And we have a Scorpio sun. And we have a Sagittarius rising, I told you. They're going viral. 
or somebody's about to get noticed. A Pisces moon as well. What are these energies going viral for? For being a hater. These energies are being known for being a hater or being cheaters. Your friends is trying to sleep with your divine masculine. So you have a Scorpio sun. Heavy on a Scorpio. Somebody with Scorpio placements. We have a Sagittarius rising. I don't know. Or a Pisces moon or a Taurus moon. Somebody trying to sleep with your with with a DM of yours or with a masculine. Give me your friend is trying to sleep with your DM. Let me see. It's a Gemini. Whoever this masculine is with Gemini in their chart or a Leo in their chart. Belphegor. Sloth energy. Someone, yeah, there was, there was money and property that was left to you. We have fake pregnant, a new spiritual ranking, and you're in, in alignment with your spiritual inheritance. There's about to be a, a death or a rebirth or a change to a situation here to a Taurus rising. I want him to see me how he sees you, a cult leader that's from Indiana. So somebody wants a masculine to see them how they see you and they're jealous. Who is this that wants to sleep with your DM? A four of swords in reverse. Somebody that's exhausted, ready for action. Libra energy. King of swords. So this is a man that wants to sleep with your masculine. It's a Gemini. Or this is a Libra. Or somebody's in, somebody likes your masculine. So this is like same sex. Yeah, I feel like you called it out. Aries. Uh -uh. Give me the Queen of Swords. And I'm, you could be the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody going through karma, man. It could be this. I don't know. Is it this queen of swords or somebody speaking this on someone? I don't know. Mm -mm. This could be a woman and uh, this could be like two people that want to sleep with. It could be two air signs that want to sleep with your mask on. That could be taking a fall from grace. Somebody wants to sleep with your divine masculine, but they're not getting no damn, no will of fortune. They're not getting, somebody's going through a setback here from even trying to do so. From even, from even trying to play you like that. We got a queen of cups in reverse, a cancer that's holding back. Or they're trying to bribe someone or persuade someone to juggle you, Aries. This is crazy. So we got a, a karmic ass water sign. Yeah, give me these cult leaders. Let's see. Who's the leaders of these cults? Give me some signs. The sun. Are they getting exposed? Period. Leo energy. And Leo season, six of wands. And they all going to be taking a fall from grace. Yeah, this could be a lot of people around your neighborhood that's trying to scatter like roaches at seven of swords because somebody's coming in to ambush them. Aries, the knight of swords, somebody coming in fast. The knight of wands to so this Capricorn, the queen of pentacles in reverse. That could be manipulative and, and jealousy. Jealous. Okay, untrustworthy and reliable. Now this person's trying to ignore you or ignore everybody here because they're shady or some type of money that they could have tried to steal from you. Yeah, Aries, they could have been very superficial with the Knight of Pentacles. Now this person could be like slow down, extremely slow down, unstable and unbalanced here because of the magic that they try to do on you to have you to uh, go through some type of hard time or 10 of wands to put all this work on you. Somebody stole your inheritance. Or they tried to, but I feel like it's, it's coming back to you with interest and some. Let's see. You're in alignment. You got a new spiritual awakening. I mean, spiritual ranking. What is this money that was left to you or in property that was left to you, Aries? And I feel like these energies carry the demonic energy of sloth. I got to look that up. Eight of cups. Yeah. I feel like you're going to have to travel for this money that was left yeah the five of pentacles these energies want you to be in a five of pentacles bankrupt no money no nothing homeless 
what the hell, man? Something was left to you, man. The Knight of Wands. Or oh, was left to you, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Could have been a set. Yeah, the moon. Mm -hmm. I just feel like Aries, these energies are under investigation. Let's see what the uh, energy sloth is. Belphegor, I mean, that's the that's the uh, the demon. All right, so let me see. Let's get some info on it. So in Jewish demonology, Belphegor is a demon associated with, with one of the dead, seven deadly sins. And he helps make people make discoveries. He seduces people by proposing incredible inventions that will make them rich. So I feel like these energies that were, could have been trying to steal your uh, property or money that was left to you, they was approached by this Belphegor sloth demon. According to some demonologists from the 17th century, his powers are strongest in April. The German bishop and witch hunter Peter Binsfield was of the of the opinion that Belphegor tempts through laziness. Likewise, according to Peter Binsfield's classification of demons, Belphegor is the main demon of the deadly sin known as sloth in a Christian tradition. And this is how it looks. Hold on, Aries. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that is how the sloth Belphegor demon looks. Belphegor derives from the Assyrian Bob Peor. Oh, I don't know if I butchered that name. The Mobite God to whom the Israelites were associated in Shittim and who was associated with intemperance and orgies. Mm. It was worshipped in the form of phallus, of a phallus, as a demon. He is described in uh, Kabbalistic writings as the one who quarrels, an enemy of the six Sephiroth, beauty. When invoked, he can bestow wealth, power to make discoveries, and make fantastic inventions. His role as a demon was to sow dispute between people and to lead them to evil through distribution of wealth. Mm. Wow. The palindrome prime number is all these numbers. I'm not. It's a lot. It's known as Belphegor's prime due to the superstitious significance, uh, significance of the numbers. It contains Belphegor's prime number consists of the number 666 surrounded on both sides by 13 zeros and finally 1 1. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's a lot of zeros. It's 13 zeros and it's 666 in the middle and it's surrounded by 1 1. Okay. According to De Plancy's Dictionnaire Infernal, Belphegor was Hell's ambassador to France. As a result, his enemy is Saint Mary Magdalene, one of the patron uh, patron saints of France. Belphegor also appears in Milton's Paradise Lost and in Victor Hugo's The Sea Workers. So I feel like these energies was tempted by their laziness and instability, superficiality to go against you, Aries. What's that? Eight of Pentacles. The Two of Wands. Whoever this is, they could be choosing to uh, do something else or get another job. Virgo, Scorpio. They could be working on saying something about yeah, three of cups. I don't know. All right, Aries. Um, I'm gonna I guess leave it there. Maybe I could pull a couple more of these to give you a little bit more insight. Let's see. Any more in closing for Aries?
We have a Cancer Sun, an Aries Sun, a Taurus Sun, knee deep in a karmic cycle with the Aries rising, the King of Pentacles. Dang, Aries. Somebody's in a karmic cycle with a Cancer, a Taurus, and an Aries. Or this could be all three of these people here. Give me some information on this Taurus Sun. We have a Virgo Moon. So this Taurus sun could have a Virgo moon that could have did glamour magic to make you see them in a different light. A Leo rising, a Leo moon, a Scorpio moon here could all be involved. Give me the Cancer sun, please. A Libra sun. Give me the Cancer sun. She about to hit the fan with this karmic because they got bad advice. Everybody tasted that sausage. Ew. I'm glad. Ew, somebody here. This Cancer. Ew. They could have been cheating on you with a Leo. But this Leo is feeling defeated because you were never competing with them. That could be this Queen of Wands in reverse. I'm glad that you came into my life and I, I be pissed because I can't control and dominate you. Whoever this is that was trying to steal your spiritual inheritance because they know that you are the real empress or you are the real emperor or you have a real empress coming in. Or somebody's jealous because you have a real empress. This person's not going to lie to you. They're not going to cheat on you, Aries. We have envious. I'm ready to take a risk with you. They would never change. Stop forcing this shit. I tell everyone about you. The hell is this man? I'm about to end this reading. We have a Gemini moon and a Cancer moon. What's going on with this Gemini moon and a Cancer moon? Wrap it up. They've been doing beauty spells on you. Your BMBD hired your ex lover to be your hitman or handler. So somebody with a Cancer Moon or a Gemini Moon, they were supposed to come in and, you know what I mean, unalive you or something, Aries. All right, whatever. Yeah, that's the messages that I have for you. Like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos, Aries. I'm going to leave it there, though. This is ridiculous. This is just too much. All right, Aries, take care. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.